The case of Jerry Sandusky in the hands of the jury tonight. Both sides wrapping up closing arguments today. And then after the jury began deliberations, a bombshell. Fox 5's Laura Evans here now with those late developments. Laura. Yeah, Brian, it's been a day of interesting developments in this case. First, the judge tossed out three counts against the former assistant coach, now facing 48 counts. Then came the closing arguments. It wasn't until after jurors began deliberating that another alleged victim came forward. Matthew Sandusky, Jerry Sandusky's adopted son, said he was also sexually abused by his father, Jerry Sandusky. As a legendary football coach, Jerry Sandusky diagrammed the plays and pulled the strings. But as a criminal defendant, he waits, powerless, for a verdict from a jury of his peers. This is a fight to the death. This is the fight of Jerry Sandusky's life. Sandusky's remained silent, no preliminary hearing, and chose not to testify at trial. Then Thursday, a possible explanation for that decision to keep Sandusky off the stand. His adopted son, Matthew, came forward to say he was also sexually abused by his father. It's one thing to allege conspiracy among people who do not know you, but for your own son to come forward and make these allegations, I simply don't know what uh, the defendant and the defense counsel can do to counteract that. Former federal prosecutor Bob Bonsip says because the explosive news surfaced after the jury began deliberating, jurors can only consider evidence that came up in the courtroom and probably won't even hear about the news anyway. The judge has made a decision to sequester the jury, and in looking backwards, it may very well be because he was concerned that this very explosive uh, piece of information could have prejudiced the jury. And by keeping them sequestered, he's keeping that away from them. In his closing argument, defense attorney Joe Amendola said Sandusky is the victim, accusing investigators of coaching the alleged victims. But an attorney for one of the victims says that just doesn't add up. The fact that somehow a group of Prosecutors, police, media, and plaintiff's attorneys got together uh, to try to bring Mr. Sandusky down uh, at different times, different places, and different locations. That doesn't have a, uh, a ring of, uh, of credibility. In closing, the prosecution told jurors not to forget the victims, pointing at Sandusky and saying, quote, he knows he did it, and you know he did it. Acknowledge it. Give them justice. 68-year-old Sandusky denies all of the charges of sexually abusing young boys over a 15-year period. If convicted, he could spend the rest of his life in prison. Brian. Laura Evans tonight. The Fox 5 Weather App. Look 10 days ahead or hour by hour. View today's video forecast and radar that can pinpoint your neighborhood free at your app store or Android market.